Hello everybody, I am Nate the Sinander Games, and I am back. I really apologize for the long break in videos. You know, it's one of those things, you get get yourself into a recording schedule and a recording routine and everything goes fine. Second you let that routine falter just a little bit, things just go to hell. But I'm going to try to be better. I mean, you know, I work four tens and just not a lot of time. And I'm going to the gym trying to get better for myself. So, I sorry. Try not to let it happen again. But we're back now with Follow the Voices. This is a, a Unity first-person shooter horror game. And it's breathing very loudly at me. So let's get going. And remember, just follow the voices. It really is that simple. All right. Cannot aim down sights. That's okay. <clears throat> that is very... Ah! Jeez. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> and I clicked out of the damn game. All right. Oh, oh, the gun has no animation. Oh, that's awful. There's nothing signifying that I was actually shooting except for the fact that it made a sound and he died. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting. So I clicked about 45 times right there and shot two bullets. Um, this is not a well-made game. I'm going to say that right now. No flashlight. Yeah. We'll see how far into this I get. Or not get. <clears throat> oh, there's a hallway right here. So, I mean, first things first, it is not reacting to me clicking. Like, at all. Hear me? Ah! He clicked out of the game again. Unity, especially in a shooter. What are you doing? You have to not let the player click out of the game when the main objective of the game is to click the button. You can't do that. So... Grr. <laughs> clicking, clicking! Oh my god. It's terrible. Okay. I wasn't even clicked out of the game right there. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know how far I'm going to make it through this one. <sighs> I'll have to check this video too. I'm getting a high CPU warning. Probably shouldn't be doing this while I'm downloading shit. Just bought the division and I am super excited about it. So if this game stutters a little bit, I apologize. But I can I can say you're not missing a whole lot. I really don't like to to badmouth games, but because I mean this could be this guy's first attempt at a game. Shoot! But at the same time, this is just so blatantly bad. I mean, it looks fine. The sounds are cool. Uh, but... I'm pounding on the mouse. What is this? Can you hear me pounding on the mouse right now? No, see, that's that's just a poor game. Plain and simple. That That's ridiculous. Um... First rule of shooters or any game where you have to use the mouse to interact with any part of the game is make sure that when you click, the thing happens. I mean, that should be the first thing that you focus on. Um, but, you know, not all games are great. This was not a good one, unfortunately. And I mean, you know, I'm downloading The Division right now, so I, my, it's using a little bit of my processor, but it's not using enough to cause that. That was just blatant latency between the controller and the game. 
Um, so that was Follow the Voices. Can't recommend it. Um, you know, one, we got clicking out of the screen, which in a first-person shooter, huge no-no. Huge no-no. Um, second, the latency between action and reaction. You can't do it. You can't let it happen. So if you want to play it, give it a shot. I'll put a link in the description below. If you liked it, give me a like. If not, let me know why. And if you want to see more games like this, definitely give me a subscribe. But for now, I am Nate. This is Nader Games. I will see you in the future. <laughs>